We now return to Tales of the Gun. Virgil became Tombstone's town marshal, Wyatt and Morgan his deputies. As pro-Northern Republicans, they faced a web of political animosity. They were natural enemies to Democratic County Sheriff Johnny Bean, who tolerated the cattle rustling activities of his friends, a pair of ex-Texas cowboy families named Clanton and McClowry. On the day of the gunfight, months of arguments, threats, and accusations lay as groundwork for the tension in Tombstone. The principal characters scarcely suspected where the events would lead them. At a vacant lot near the OK Corral, Frank McClowry waited with his brother Tom, who Wyatt Earp had pistol whipped earlier in the morning. Billy Clanton was there as well, with his brother Ike, who, after making public threats that day, also felt the slap of an Earp gun. The three Earp brothers solemnly walked down the tombstone street. With them was Doc Holliday, the tubercular gambler who once saved Wyatt Earp's life in Dodge City, and thus became his lifelong friend. Virgil, as marshal, was determined to arrest the cowboys for violating the town ordinance against carrying guns. Perhaps to appear less threatening, he exchanged a shotgun for Doc Holliday's cane. He fires and the shot goes between Morgan and Wyatt. Researchers like Jeff Morey have spent years poring over the historical record to gain an accurate understanding of just what happened at the infamous gunfight. He throws his right hand over his left arm. He says, I've got you this time. It began when Wyatt and Virgil entered the lot. Doc Holliday and Morgan Earp remained in the street. Immediately, Virgil could see that at least Frank McClowry and Billy Clanton were still armed. So he held up his arms and yelled out, throw up your hands, boys. I intend to disarm you. Frank McClowry replied, we will. But instead of holding his hands up, he made a grab for his pistol at his right hip. Such moments and exactly what they meant would fuel controversy for years to come. Why would Frank McClowry say, we will, and then reach for his gun? The answer may never be known. Wyatt knows Frank McClowry is a dangerous man, so he pulls his pistol from his overcoat pocket. Virgil Earp sees Frank's move and holds up Doc Holliday's cane and yells out, hold on, I don't want that, and McClowry hesitates. Virgil would later say he told McClowry to hold because he heard the cowboys cock their guns. As Wyatt Earp and Frank McClowry drew their pistols, Billy Clanton reacted. Billy Clanton is blind to Frank McClowry's move. His eyes are on his adversaries, the Earps, and he sees Wyatt's play. So he reaches across his body and pulls his own pistol and fires at the same time Wyatt does. Two shots go off simultaneously. Clanton's shot missed, but Wyatt's bullet struck Frank McClowry, who stumbled into the street. Wyatt could never say who fired first. The shots were that close together. Any number of witnesses testified the shots were so close together that they couldn't have come from the same weapon. The die had been cast, and events became unstoppable. Morgan and Virgil Earp each fired at Billy Clanton, who stumbled against a building wall, hit in his wrist and torso. Billy Clanton is firing as fast as he can. He's doing what we call today spray and pray. He's not lining up on his target. He's just letting loose as quickly as he can. Ike Clanton ran up to Wyatt, claiming to be unarmed and pleading for mercy. Wyatt told him to fight or get out. Tom McClowry, still untouched by gunfire, now faced Doc Holliday, who hit him with a deadly blast from his shotgun. Holliday now turned to Frank McClowry, wounded but still standing. He throws down on Doc, which means he throws his right hand over his left forearm and yells out, I've got you this time. Doc replies, blaze away, you're a daisy if you have. Daisy was a popular word of the day for anything quite exceptional, but McClowry had little time to appreciate it. A shot from Morgan Earp struck him under the right ear. The fight was over. Three cowboys lay dead. Virgil and Morgan were wounded. The eternity of gunfire had lasted less than a minute. 